In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to solve problems where a variable is squared. Like the formula for the area of a square, how would you solve for the length of the sides? We will start with the formula area equals s squared. We know the area of the square is 75 centimeters squared in this example. What is the length of the sides? The first step is to replace area with 75. Now, when solving for a variable, and in this case s, we want to isolate it so that we can have s equals some number. How do we isolate the s though when it has an exponent of 2? We are going to quickly review three ideas that are going to help here. First, anything to the power of 1 remains the same. So if we can get s with an exponent of 1, we can remove the exponent and we will be left with s. Second, if you multiply a number by a fraction where the numerator is 1 and the denominator is the same as the number it is multiplying, you will have the number over itself which is equal to 1. 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 equals 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. Third, when solving an algebraic equation, if you perform an action to one side, you need to do the same to the other. x equals 2. If you square the x, then you have to square the 2. Now, let's bring back our area question we were working on. We have 75 equals s squared, and we need to isolate the s. We are going to use all three of the ideas we just reviewed. We are going to raise both sides of the equation to the power of 1 over 2. Now we have a power of a power on the right side of our equation. 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 equals 2 over 2, which equals 1. Now we have s to the power of 1, which can just be written as s. We now have an answer in exponent form of s equals 75 to the power of 1 half. But what if you want your answer without an exponent? You can now type 75 to the power of 1 over 2 into your calculator to get s equals 8.66 centimeters. Now make sure to give this a try. If you don't get 8.66 as an answer, try following these steps. If you don't use brackets, you are actually typing in 75 to the power of 1 divided by 2, which is why you are getting the wrong answer. Type in 75. Find and press the exponent button. This is the button that has an x with an exponent of y. Type in a left bracket. Type in 1. Type in the division button. Type in 2. Type in a right bracket. Press the equal button. Let's look at one more example. What is the radius of a circle that has an area of 77 meters squared? Answer should be to two decimal places. Start with a formula of a equals pi r squared. Now put in 77 for a. Remember, we are trying to isolate r, so we divide both sides by pi. For this question, we will use 3.14 for pi. We are now left with r squared equals 24.52. Raise both sides to the power of 1 half, which leaves us with r equals 24.52 to the power of 1 half. Use your calculator, and the answer is 4.95 meters. In this lesson, you learned how to solve for a variable that is raised to the power of 2 by raising both sides of the equation by 1 over 2.